The Append query allows us to add records from one table to another. So for example, I have the Book Project table, and I want to be able to add more records from the New Projects table to it. However, Append queries must have matching field names and data type, because if they don't, then Access will ignore them and, and only append those that do. So I want to look at my New Projects table. Does it have the same field name, part number, as I do in the book project that I want to append it to part number yes book title over here book title yes the only thing I have to do now is make sure they have the same data type so does part number when I right click and go to the design view has the same data type in this case it has text as the table I want to append it to so if I right click and go to the design view there's part number it has the text data type so assuming the rest are good you should of course always double check but I know these are good we're ready to go so I'm going to go ahead and right click and go back to data sheet view right click and go back to data sheet view and let's create our append query. Come up here, click on the Create tab, go to the other group, and click on the Query Design. We're starting from scratch here. And the table this query is going to be based upon is going to be the New Projects table. Double click on it, it adds it, and then click Close. Because in this query, I don't want to pull, let's say, all of the records from the new project and add it to the book project, maybe just some of them. Let me go ahead and fix this here, stretch that out, and come down here and click on that line here and drag it up so my grid's a little bit closer to the top. Let's say in the, new, in the new projects table, I just want to append or add those with the part number beginning with 15. Let's say those are ready to go, they're ready to be sold, these others are still in the works. So back to my query here, and the first thought is I want to be able to add all the fields that have data in the new projects table to the book project table. This little asterisk means all, so if I just double click on that, it adds it down below, and it's all. How do I know? Well, if I click on the data sheet view button, there they all are. All the fields, part number, book title, production cost, and so on. So let me go back to the design view. The only problem that when it comes to using the asterisks is that it doesn't allow you to use the criteria field. If you want to use the criteria field, you actually have to add a field separately and not use the asterisks or the add all field. So it's going to be based upon the part number, my criteria. When I double click on that, I want to be able to come down in here and say, well, any part number that begins with 15. Remember, I only want to append those that begin with 15. 15 asterisks because that's the wild card. So it takes 15, it's got to start with 15, but anything after it, it doesn't care. So I hit enter, and then access quickly adds in the like and puts the quotes around it. Now I don't want the part number showing up twice when I run the query here, so I can uncheck this and click on the run button. There's the part number, and when I scroll over to the right, there's no part number because it's hidden but it's based upon the criteria from that part number field of any part number that begins with 15. So back to my design view, and we're ready to go to change this from a select query and make it an append query. When I click on it, it says, well, what table do you want to take these records and append them to? Click on the drop-down arrow, and it's going to be my book project table. Of course, it's in the current database. I can select another database and find the file or the other database out there, but we're sticking to just this database here that I have open and then click OK, and then what that does is it doesn't append it, it adds the append to field down below. It'll only append it after I click on the run button. So right now you can see up at the top it's an append query. What it's going to do is it's going to take the asterisks or all the fields and append it to the book project table. It's also going to take the part number and append it to the book project table. I don't want that. I still need my criteria, but I don't want to append the part number twice. So what I'm going to do is down where it says the append to cell for the part number here, I'm going to delete it and then click off in a blank area. Test it to see if it still works. Of course it will when you click on the view button. Now remember, I'm not running it. If I run it, it'll actually append those records. If I click on the data sheet view to test it, there you go. Still part numbers uh, beginning with uh, 15 here. So back to my design view. Am I ready to go? Yes. Click on the run button. I'm about to add three rows or three records. Click yes and let's go to our book project table. Now because I have it open, it doesn't automatically update it, so what I need to do is to refresh this table. So come up here in the records group on the home tab, of course, and click on the refresh button, and there we go, it adds them down below, refreshes it. There's three of them. Go back to my query here, and I want to save this as my append query. So come up here, click on the save button, and the name I'm going to give it is QAPP, or the prefix, Q for query, AP for append and call it my then hit enter and then notice when it adds it over to the left hand side it's got the same symbol here as when you come up here in the design view as the append option or the append button does up in the query type group 
Now remember, you don't want to double click on these because it will actually run it. Instead, you want to right click on them and go to Design Views. So if I close out of the query here and I double click on it, it says, hey, you're going to run this, it's going to append those records. Well, I'll click No. And again, I want to right click and go to the Design View. Close out of that. And keep in mind that it just added the records. It didn't delete them from the new projects table. They're still there. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.